Hi friends, welcome to AK Electric YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about motor and delta connection and star connection and also we will see whether in delta connection current will consume more or in star connection current will consume more. Okay, so first we will see about the working principle of motor. So as you see in the pics, motor has two main parts that is stator and rotor where stator is a stationary part which is standstill and rotor is a rotating part. Okay. Now one can observe in the top side of motor there is a terminal box where we can give the three phase power supply which produce the rotating magnetic field in the stator. Okay. Now stator will have a three sets of coil. So one is U1 and U2 and other set is V1 and V2 and third set is W1 and W2. This three set of coil is wound in the stator and bring in the top side of the thermal box and it will be connected. Okay. There we will give the our power supply to the stator coils. Those coils will produce two pole rotating magnetic field in the north pole and south pole direction. Okay. So according to electromagnetic induction, RMF will induce electricity in the rotor bars. If you can see the rotor bars in the downside peaks. Okay. Therefore, electromagnetic force will develop which makes rotor to rotate. So simply we can see or simply we can say once you give the power supply to the stator, there will be a rotating magnetic field will be evolved. Due to that, rotor will start rotating. Okay. Once the rotor starts rotating, there in shaft we will connect our pumps for our mechanical action. So simply we can say that motor is an electrical device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Okay. So now we will start discuss about winding connections. First we will see about delta connections. This is delta formation. Okay. So this is how circuit representation will be looks for delta winding. Okay. So this just represents triangle shape. Okay. So here you can see three sets of coil. First set will be U1 and U2. Second set will be V1 and V2. Third set will be W1 and W2. Okay. So here you can see our three phase power supply will be connected like this L1, L2, L3. So for uh, India there will be about 50 Hertz. In Gulf countries it will be about 60 Hertz. So both frequency ranges we can connect for delta winding. Okay. So now you see here W2 and U1 I have been marked as one set whereas U2 and V1 I have marked as second set and here W1 and V2 I have marked as third set. So in this diagram I have mentioned very clearly that three sets of coil which is U1 and U2. So you see here for first set U1 and U2 there will be a two end one is starting end other other one is ending end. So U2 will be a ending end. So this U2 will be connected to the starting end of next winding that is V1. So this V1 and V2 is connected to the other end of third winding. So in V1 and V2, V2 will be the ending end. Okay. This ending end will be connected to the starting end of W1 W2. So I have tell about delta winding concept. One end of winding is connected to the starting of other winding. So for better understanding, I have draw a stator of motor. So this assume this diagram as stator for motor. Okay. Here U1 winding will be the starting point. Like this it will be wound and it will be bring to the other end like U2. Okay. So for here U1 will be the starting end and U2 will be the ending end. Okay. So now see here winding starting point of V1 will be here whereas winding ending point of V2 will be here. Same like this W1 starting point will be here and W2 ending point will be here. So for phase difference between U1 and U2 will be 120 degree. Okay. Suppose if U1 is here from here 120 degree apart next set will be start. So for your better understanding I have been shown here nearby. Okay, if in actual, suppose if U1 is here, then V1 will be here. Okay, suppose if V1 is here, then our W1 will be here. So here I have shown nearby for your better understanding. So see here, this U1 is starting point, whereas U2 is ending point. So this ending point is connected to the starting point of next set. Okay, like this V1. So U2 is connected to V1. Now see here, this V1 is starting point and V2 is ending point. So this ending point is connected to the starting point of third set that is W1 and W2. So here W2 is ending point. This ending 
connection is connected to the static connection of first set of coil called u1 okay this is how we have to short that is w2 to u1 and v1 to u2 where w1 is connected to v2 okay now you see here this is motor terminal block one which can absorb from the motor upside so here u1 and v2 is shorted where here you can see that u1 and u2 sorry u1 and w2 is shorted and here you see v1 and u2 is shorted so here you see v1 and u2 is shorted and w1 v2 is shorted so see here w1 and v2 is shorted so in motor terminal block like in actual it will be looks like this see here this terminal plate is connected it looks like horizontal right okay so see here u1 and u2 v1 and v2 w1 and w2 so here the circuit representation looks like this so according to this circuit representation in actual winding will be connected like this suppose this u1 winding will go inside the stator of motor and it will wound here and it will be bring outside like this as ending point w2 same like this v1 will go to the stator of motor inside and it will wound like shown here and it will bring other side as v2 and it will be connected at here same like this w1 this winding will go inside the stator and it will wound inside the stator and it will break in this side as w2 so once the coils will be connected in terminal box our power cable will be connected this color code is that is brown black gray is depends upon our countries normally in european countries will be used like this in india there will be roeb in european countries that is russia and its related countries the color code will be looks like this so don't get confused okay so this is how for delta formation connection should be looks like okay star connection in motor this is how star circuit representation looks like okay as i already told in delta there will be three sets of coil in star connection also there will be three sets of coil called u1 and u2 v1 and v2 w1 and w2 see here this is how the three phase power supply will be given l1 l2 l3 okay now see here i already told assume this as stator inside the motor in stator also this u1 will be wound here and it ending point will be taken out like this same for v1 also the starting coil will be wound here and this ending coil will be brought out same for w1 also this will be wound here and w2 will be taken out so now the ending point of w2 v2 u2 should be short circuited but starting point of u1 v1 w1 will be excited by power supply okay so see here this motor terminal block u1 v1 w1 see here u1 v1 w1 will be the starting point of coils so starting coils will be connected to power supply where ending point w2 v2 u2 will be short circuited so see here terminal block w2 u2 v2 short circuited also you can observe this clearly in stator diagram okay so now see here this is actual circuit diagram of motor terminal block so this w2 u2 v2 is short circuited by a jumper plate okay it this jumper plate now it is in vertical did you remember in delta connection i have told you that this jumper plate will be in horizontal now it it is in vertical so this is how star connection will be looks like delta winding in motor will take high current or star winding in motor will take high current so voltage consumption in star formation so now see here the stator coils will be connected to motor terminal block like this okay now you give the three phase supply to l1 l2 l3 and measure the voltage between l1 and l2 and also between l2 and l3 and l1 and l3 you will find 415 volt between all phases okay if you measure in coil side you will find only 240 volt that is between u1 and u2 and also if you measure between v1 and v2 you will find only 240 volt also between w1 and w2 if you measure you will find only 240 volt this is why so for that you can observe from here now see here once you give the three phase supply between l1 and l3 and l2 so if you measure in coil side you will find only 240 volt this is because so if l1 side 
the voltage will come like this and L2 side the voltage will come come like this. So in the meeting point there will be a neutral. So in electrical philosophy the junction point of three phase voltage will be neutral correct. In transformer also same philosophy will be followed. So in source side you will measure 415 volt in coil side you will measure only 240 volt because of this neutral point okay. But in delta that will be different. In delta there is no any neutral point. So same supply voltage will be measured in coil side also. If you measure in U1 and U2 you will find same 415 volt that you given to the supply side okay. I hope you will be better understand. Simply you just think in delta there is no any neutral. So supply voltage and coil voltage will be same but in star their supply voltage and coil voltage will be different because in coil in star formation there will be neutral ok. So now we will see the calculation current consumption calculation. Now see this is how power formula will be root 3 V i cos theta for current for finding current we have to bring this P upside and I this side. So current formula will be look like this I is equal to P by root 3 V cos theta. So our motor is 4 kilowatt that is 4000 watts. So for power we have to put this 4000 watts and root 3 into 415 volt. This 415 volt is coil voltage. So for delta the coil measured voltage is 415 we have to put here and for cos theta that is power factor 0 0.89 we have to put. So after calculating this we will get 6.25 ampere ok. In same in star connection also we have to derive the current for that current is equal to P by root 3 V i cos theta. Root 3 is 1.732. So here voltage is 240 that is coil voltage. In star because of neutral we will measure as 240 correct. So that 240 we have to put here. Same for cos theta also 0 0.89. For calculating this we will get 10.81 ampere. So in star we get more current than in delta. So due to coil voltage is low current consumption is high in star. So for delta due to coil voltage is high current consumption is less in delta. I hope you will be clear in star current consumption is more ok. I hope this video is informative to everyone. If you like this video subscribe like and click the bell icon. Thank you.